Here's a short YouTube video on inclusion cysts. Inclusion cysts, also known as epidermoid or epidermal cysts, um, are something that we see from time to time in the foot. These few slides come from a talk that I do on nail unit tumours, and that talk itself comes from a bigger presentation that I do on soft tissue and bony tumours, and that's a, a real area of interest of mine. I really like a classification system. Unfortunately, I'm blowed if I can remember the classification system where this came from, so apologies to the authors. What they present is a simple classification system for both malignant and benign tumours. And for benign, they look at the tissue of origin and say whether they're coming from the epithelium, connective tissue, the synovium, the bone, or from some other tissue. So for epithelium um, tumours, we'll be thinking about inclusion cysts, but also verrucas and various other keratoses. So epidermal or inclusion cysts, as I've said, um, also known as epidermoid cysts, they're also known as sebaceous cysts, but wrongly, because a true sebaceous cyst contains sebum and, and comes off the pilosebaceous unit. Um, inclusion or epidermal cysts range in size from just a few millimetres up to a few centimetres and contain a cheesy, somewhat malodorous mixture of degraded lipid and keratin. I think one of the reasons I like to think of them as being called inclusion cysts is really what they are, is an island of epidermis below the dermoepidermal junction that continues to dry and produce skin, but it's obviously it's got nowhere to shed, nowhere to go, so it just builds up and builds up underneath the skin. Some technical definitions taken from a very nice eMedicine article. There are also some relatively good Wikipedia pages. I know it's not exactly high science, but they're worth a look at as well, and the last two lines are from Wikipedia itself. couple of videos and they absolutely won't play on my computer, which is a real shame. I'm having a few computer problems tonight. So having taken away what I thought was nail, had a couple of short videos and this is taking out some of the tissue that was underneath the, the crust of skin. I actually have quite a big backlog of, um, sorry, backlog, a, a back library of videos and pictures, but taken from years ago and they're not consented for sharing or publication. So unfortunately, I can't, uh, I can't use the old videos. These are consented. But unfortunately, I'm having a few computer problems tonight. Um, so having taken away the, the loose material from the cyst, um, took him back to theatre and did a full resection of what was then just fibrotic material. This video was, was already uploaded to YouTube about six months or so ago. Um, one of my early videos, as you see, I'm just getting slightly, slightly better with iMovie. So it's not the best movie, but you, you, can, you can check that out. Speaking of YouTube, um, I've got a group of playlists. I've got one for Aspiration and Sis. It's where I'll tend to put these kind of videos. So do go out and check out the other ones. And this is my most popular video of my delightful Scottish lady who had a massive, slow growing, at least two to three year growth of an inclusion cyst on the ball of her left foot. And that's been my most popular YouTube video upload thus far. Here's a close-up of it. In fact, that's a video that would work if my computer wasn't playing silly buggers. But just to show that that thing basically is the size of a small Brussels sprout. There's a screen grab. There's a couple of versions of the video on YouTube. A shorter one and a full one. And some very nice person has managed to rip it off and put it on their Facebook site without reference and had half a million views in a week. So that's why I get um, a little bit concerned to try and give the original author's reference where I can. You won't have seen this picture before, but this was two weeks post um, uh, resection of the inclusion cyst. We just put a couple of uh, straight sutures in and that lady healed real well. So inclusion cyst then, um, something we don't see too often in the feet, plantar surface of the foot, you know it's not going to be a true sebaceous unit because there's no hair follicles, so there's no pilosebaceous units. But um, retained foreign bodies and epidermal epidermal cysts, they, uh, they do occur. Thanks for listening as always.